Okay, we are ready to upload this. Let's go ahead and straight up and do that right now. Boom. Uploading. If you're wondering what this documentation is, it's actually from BL Touch, the creators. It's their default. It's from Ant, Ant Clabs, who make the BL Touch. And we're going to be using their calibration section. Or I don't really care about most of it. I just need the commands. Let's see. Nope. Problem uploading to board. Let's see. Access denied. Com7. Boom. Let's see. So remember this. If your. What do you even call this thing? Simplify 3D. Um, your slicer, if you have your comp open, auto oh, power off. Damn it, not recording video. Okay, video recording. If you have your slicer open and your panel is up, your control panel, it's going to automatically connect, disconnect. Now we can upload. Otherwise, the comms already, the port is already taken. We got to free that up. And then we'll see if this code that I walked you through in my last video actually works because I haven't tested it. So hopefully it's flawless. That would make my life a lot easier in terms of making this video for you. There it goes. Done uploading. That means it is successful. So let's go over to our control panel. Connect. Let's go ahead and go to our documentation. Where is it? Internet Explorer. Or Edge. Um, first we need to test it. Push the pin down. Look at that. It's working. That is good news. Pull it back up. Oh my goodness, mine is flashing. 160. Bummer, Mike. Means there's too much pressure on my BL touch. Screwed in a little bit too hard, I guess. If that's the case, there's... Let's see, where are my tools? Loosen it up a little bit. Let's go back and clear it. And try again. Look at that. There we go. So if you run into the same problem you just saw me having there's your fix screwed on too tight there's some kind of pressure that's stopping it from sucking it back up so we know the the BL touch is now working now let's make that stop now let's get on to calibrating this thing okay first thing we need to do is it says note that number, I don't really care, 851 about that because I'm going to be doing it from scratch. When you do these commands, you need to make sure that they're all capitalized. So just turn on cap locks. So I'm doing this all with one hand because I'm on the ground. Alrighty. So that makes our offset right here zero. If you went on the, the BL touch, Click down, 
went to control. Let's see. Boom, right here. Let me just put this on the ground, check out my slider in and out. Control. This is where you set your Z-stop here. You can see we just set it to zero with that M851Z zero command. Now what do we do? We need to call out G28. And I believe that should zero it. Nope, let's go ahead and get a view of what you should be seeing. And then, you can see, BL Touch is working perfectly. Now, that's going to not have the print head very close. What we do now is we do a G1 Z0. And that's going to zero it out. We take the camera off the tripod so you can see how close. Where is it? You can see, we're pretty far away from where we need to be. This is pretty much just the paper test. If you want to use paper like you always do, that's fine. Yes, my printer bed is dirty. That's from um, the stuff. ABS mixed with acetone. And I know my wires are everywhere because I'm not done doing all this stuff. After this is all done, I'm going to make mine pretty, get it off the ground, clean up this mess. Okay. Now what do we do? We need to set that offset. So, actually, because I know my offset, but you don't know your offset. You're gonna come over here. Depending on your thing, it may have some kind of weird safety that does not let you go down as far as you need to go. So, take this tripod off again, so you guys can see what's happening. There you go. Now I'm going to click negative one on the Z to lower that. And, oops, um, yeah, so mine did not, mine likes to stop at negative two and that's it. I don't know why. I haven't bothered to figure out why. So let's go ahead and do a G, is it G1? G1, Z0. Bottom this out again. There we go. So how are we going to fix that? I believe we can go like this. Or that's not, that's not what I want to do. Let's set the Z0. M851 Z um, Z negative 2. Yours is going to be different, so I just set my offset to negative 2. Now if we hit, we zero this out again. Goes right there, is that the same? Hmm. Let's see if it saved in here. Come on, focus, focus. Motion offset negative two. Let's go ahead and zero that again. No. Let's see how are we doing down here? That's that's not good at all. So before I do a G28 again for it to level itself or whatever it does, I'm gonna do a Z10 to raise it up. Then I'm going to call it G28. If, you hit, if I hit a G28 that low, it's going to error out because it's too low. So 
Boom. Now let's call it G1, C0. Now let's go ahead and go to the job controls. Like that. Let me zoom in so I can see also. I don't use do the paper test, I always eyeball it. Oh, that looks pretty good. I don't think I can get it to go any lower. So let's go ahead and just set that offset. Because it does not like me going past negative 2. Z. So now we're going to set it. So we're going to add those two together. The minus 2 pl plus the negative that we set up right there. So now we have to run back up. Do G28. Maybe you don't have to do this G28, but I am. This doesn't always like to agree with me setting this up. Sometimes it just works perfectly. I can go negative four right off the bat in my job controls and it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Like, what is that? You see, it fights with me. It fights with me. Oh, never mind, because I have the call. I have the call G. So you guys get to see my struggle and the problems that I have that I won't edit out. Let's see. Come on, focus, man. Let's send it over to manual. Focus. There we go. Look at that. I think that's... Is that... Is that touching? Because we obviously don't want it touching. I think that's, that's touching. Okay, so we need to bump this up. Let's go ahead and we can bump it up by 0.1 at a time. That's probably good, maybe. maybe. Yeah, right there. Anyways, you can set this. You don't have to set this here. You can set it up now and then set it up and, it, and adjust it later. But get it pretty close. And then you'll do some test prints and then readjust it to get the height perfectly. It's pretty hard to do it right off the bat. So what we did plus 5 now. So go 8M851 Z negative. 3.5 so we added a negative 4 we're adding 0.5 now boom let's go ahead and raise it up call it G28 and then we're gonna call G1 C0 not looking good. Already, well, you see the process. Get yours perfect. And then you'll be good to go. So how do we know if this is working? I'll just leave that right now. I don't need to get it perfect for you guys. You guys can see what you need to do to get this to the perfect adjustment. Sometimes I have to do it twice or three times for it to hit me with the right setting. Oh, where is it? Oh, no, no, no. We need the functions. I don't remember. Is it G29? I think it's G29. Let's just, let's just hit it with it. Let's bump it up. I'm not trying to error. Then go G28. So I believe this is how we hit it. Zoom out so you guys can see. Oh, you guys probably want a low view. And then from G28, we're going to call it G29. Boom. Mm. 
This is the auto leveling occurring before your very eyes. You see right there, we changed it to 150 in the code. That was 170 that BL Touch would be off of the bed. You'd go too far to the right. And this is the nine point test. You can definitely see we need to take that. Did I bump it up to 50? Because that, that's way, way too far to the right. This is making some little tiny baby square. Let's check our code configuration. Bump up. Um, put my camera back on the tripod. Okay, so where is this code at? Right there, 30, 30, 30. So maybe we need to lower this to 10. And then test that, or maybe lower it to 20, test that. That's gonna move, when it's doing that test, it's gonna move it to the left side, further to the left side, so it's not making a tiny little square. If you wanna up these values to 145, 150, try those out, you know, spread out your, make your square a little bit bigger so it's hitting all the points of your bed I mean if you have a wide bed these points are obviously going to be different but other than that your BL touch is ready to go besides um, let's see process settings we have to go to the scripts the scripts for what your printer executes before the print starts the G28, of course. And then you got after you call G28, you need to call G29. Then you're good to go. Then your print can do, you know, whatever it needs to do. Make sure you're not calling another G28 or any zeroing out. The last call before your print occurs should be G29, unless your printer does weird things that aren't related to my TiVo. But. Already, BL Touch, ready to go. Get your print on. Almost forgot. How do we set it up? Here. Bum -ba -dum. Um. Control. Motion. Your Z offset right there. So, if you want to lower it some more, go ahead and bump this up. And then if you want to save that, 